Hello, everyone. Welcome back to freepilotgroundschool.ca. This is our 13th meteorology lesson. We're going to be discussing icing. The topic of airframe icing comes up in pretty much every subject area. We discuss it in air law, where we discuss the air uh, regulations pertaining to taking off with icing. We talk about it in flight operations and we talk about it in meteorology. And this is for good reason, because a lot of aircraft accidents have been attributed to aircraft uh, icing, airframe icing. So on the left, we have a photograph of a West Wind Aviation uh, ATR-42 that crashed, I think in 2018, killing one person. It was a takeoff uh, with ice on the wings, and then on the right, an Air Tindy Cessna Caravan that crashed, I believe, in 2019 or so as a result of flying into icing conditions that exceeded the de-icing capabilities of the aircraft. So it's very important to know that flying in icing conditions in an unequipped aircraft will kill you very fast. Aircraft wings are highly precise uh, feats of engineering. And if you mess with that airfoil by getting ice on your wing, well, the wing will not be performing very well at all. Now, of course, flying in aircraft that uh, have adequate de-icing capabilities is not really an issue at all. That's what they're designed for. So modern jet aircraft have, let's say, hot wings, where hot lead air goes on the wings and vaporizes that uh, ice very quickly and uh, to boot you have enough power that you get on top of the icing conditions very fast. So it's not a big deal. However, in a training aircraft, uh, it, it will uh, make you descend very, very quickly. Particularly, we have to be worried about freezing rains. And if you recall from our previous lesson on the winter warm front, uh, that's when we end up with freezing rain. And the ice accumulation in freezing rain is very fast uh, and, and makes a, a big difference on the uh, airfoil. So a couple of different types of airframe icing in flight. We can talk about clear ice and rime ice. Clear ice is caused by large supercooled water droplets, such as freezing rain. They're still in a liquid phase, but they are below zero, usually because of, there's a lack of condensation nuclei. It's hard and it significantly changes the airfoil. On the top, we can see the picture. Notice that's about an inch thick, and, uh, and that is going to cause a significant decrease in lift. Much more common, though, is rime ice. Uh, it is small, supercooled water droplets. It is opaque in color, and it's not very smooth. It's quite rough, has a slow rate of accretion, and uh, it's quite a bit more common that you'll find that can also have hoarfrost that forms on clear nights when the temperature drops due to radiation and the temperature of the object reaches the dew point and moisture that is touching that object will uh, become deposited onto the surface. Hoarfrost must be removed prior to flight and uh, the numbers that come up often in Many tests, hoarfrost can reduce lift by up to 40% and increase drag by up to 30%. Beyond uh, icing accumulating on the wings, we can also have impact icing that accumulates on engine intakes, pitot tubes, oil coolers, potentially causing engine problems such as engine star air starvation or improper operation of cooling systems. So on the left, you see a turbojet aircraft and it has picked up quite a bit of ice on the engine intake. And of course, that's going to disrupt the airflow going into the engine, potentially causing an engine failure. On the right, uh, we have a light aircraft and you see the uh, air filter there. If ice builds up there, well, you could end up with uh, the insufficient airflow going into that uh, engine. There's three types of icing, clear, rime, and hoar. Clear frost is uh, from large supercooled water droplets near zero degrees. Rime ice is rough, small supercooled water droplets, and then hoar frost forms uh, from uh, radiation at, on cold, clear nights. 
The ice with the fastest accretion is uh, A, clear ice. So that is correct. Clear ice is going to have the fastest accretion. You have large supercooled water droplets, and uh, they very quickly form on the uh, on the wings and other uh, parts of the airframe. Uh, rime ice has smaller supercooled water droplets, so the accretion rate is much slower. And then hoarfrost, it's not when you're flying. Hoarfrost can result in an increase in drag of up to 40% and a decrease in lift up to 30%. That concludes this lesson on aircraft icing. Thanks for joining me. We'll see you in the next lesson.